Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Today we are looking at a collector car and you say, Tone, how do you know it's a collector car? And I say, you're absolutely right. How could I possibly know? All I can do is give you the bullets, let you decide, but here's my take on that. Think about a car that maybe they made almost 100,000 of and we have one of 975, right? Already a low production car and all original, man, all original, not modified, molested stock, wheels, brakes, paint, decals, all of that stuff still on the car the way it came from the factory, right? Super low miles and great looking and the top that goes down. We're going to walk around. We'll look at some details that you get with a car like this. And I think that by the time you're done, you'll find a way to get it in your garage. All right, so what I love a lot about this car is first off, you have a Z28, which is a performance version of this, and then we take the SS and add that on top of the Z28. So you, to get the SS package in this car, it automatically came with the Z28. You get the special hood for the SS, you get these decals, and when we get inside, you'll get to see some of the embroidery on the headrest, the callouts on the fenders, the special wheels, things like that. They did a really nice job ending the life of this car. We can mind this is the last year it was built, right? and then we throw in at the low numbers, great. So factory paint, always good. I always meet people on the street that like to say, hey man, I see that you do the thing in the paint on there, whatever. I do it for a reason so you can see exactly what it looks like. See how crisp and clear each and every letter is. See how you can see the picture nice and deep. You wanna make sure that you can see that and that way you know you're getting great paint. All right, so I like to spend just a second under here for two reasons. One, because the LS drivetrain is one of the greatest drivetrains ever. Aluminum head, aluminum block, uh, great power and durable, whatever, makes a great transplant to other things like hot rods and stuff like that. But the real reason I'm looking under here is because the original stickers and decals are here. And you say, Tone, who cares about that? And I say, well, let me tell you why you care about that. Because if the car has been in an accident, they would have to replace panels in here. And if they replace panels in here, you can no longer have those stickers because they don't sell the stickers anymore. It comes on the car from the factory that way. And a lot of the things that you see are still in all the places that they are. This car has been recently serviced, oil's been changed, it's Maryland inspected, it's kind of ready to go and take to a car show, go out for a cruise, go out with the kids or another couple to dinner. This would be an awesome, awesome fun. This is a pretty nice setup back here. You think about the step spoiler right here, um, the SS callouts on here. I think it's a nice run. I think it looks great from behind. The decal setup is great. We put that on other cars too. It was one of the best ones that was out there. But back to the originality of the car and what you're talking about collector car stuff. For instance, here we have the original mat that came in here for the trunk mat, right? We also have the bag storage here for the uh, tono top uh, pieces that go, go inside there. Original decals are in place, stuff like that. Again, back to authentic, rare, and collector car. All right, so I would call this car a modern muscle car, and I'll tell you why I'd call it that. You have seating in here that's comfortable. There's room in back for the kids, for another couple, whatever. You got serious, serious performance, but then you also have inside here, some comfort, right? You got comfort, man. We got tilt wheel. We got cruise control. We got climate control, air conditioning. We got the upgraded monsoon sound system, power convertible top, right? Two-tone leather interior, beautifully embroidered with the SS that's on it, right? Molded door panels. This is not a cheap, cheesy interior. This is a nice, solid car. And I gotta tell you what, man, this car rips down the road from what I've read online, okay? And some people called me and told me about their other cars, not this one in particular but that's uh, what I had heard. Anyway, back to my originality part, 155 mile an hour speedometer, 7,000 RPM tech, full array of gauges, keyless entry, power windows, power locks, right? Modern, modern, and fast uh, makes for a great car. All right, so just to recap real quick, here's what we're talking about. Roughly 42,000 of these Camaros were built uh, in the last run of these cars, okay? This is one of 975. I'd say take out a quarter of those for accidents, stolen, whatever, they're gone. Take out another 75% of those for cars with 70,000, 100,000, whatever miles. And now you only have a few left of these cars with low miles. That's why I keep going with the collector car, collector car, collector car. You got performance, you got great looks, you got the last year that the car has been built. All those things make up for what I feel would be a great, great car. Anyway, call us 301. 816 1000 will tell you about all this SS convertible, right? This anniversary convertible. And if you would, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you would like it, right down in that bottom button there and share it with your friends as well.